sardines on our sandwich. This is ridiculous. <laughs> We've got native flags here. Welcome back. So I'm out here at it's a it's a wildlife management area. So there's no like established campground or anything. There is a fire ring here. Somebody has built, um, and there's a lake right here. And I know you can't see me with the sun behind me like that. Today was really an unplanned camping trip. So I had to attend a funeral this morning, and I had no real intentions of camping today. But for where I had to go for the funeral. I figured I might as well throw my cooler in the back, find a spot out there to camp afterwards. So here we are. Uh, it's just going to be a really chill night and it's going to be a chilly night. So the low tonight is 37. It's about 45 degrees right now. And I did not put my propane heater back in my truck. So I don't have that, nor do I have any long johns or anything. Um, so I might get a little bit cold tonight, but we'll deal with it. But yeah, we've got a lake right here. And I've never been here before, but the water is actually fairly clear for Nebraska water. Normally our water is not very clear, and this looks like a nice spot. Yeah, you can see, you can see through the water. Obviously that's not very deep right there, but you get the drift. Yeah, just chilling. I'm thankful that I managed to find this spot because there really isn't a whole lot of stuff in this area. But we're here. We've got enough stuff and uh, we'll be all right. I'm definitely going to change my shoes. I've got brand new shoes on. I don't want to get those dirty. Uh, I try to keep two pairs of basically identical shoes. I have really simple tastes and uh, try to keep a pair clean and then just wear a pair every day. But I'm going to get my shoes changed out. I'm gonna get my junk organized in the back of the truck here. Um, I honestly just feel out of place because I didn't plan on any of this. Normally I have at least some resemblance of a plan when I do this stuff, but today it's not the case. basically set up in here guys I grabbed my coat and my stocking cap I was jamming some tunes uh, once again small town Nebraska gas stations are pretty slim pickings for anything odd I got a couple Coors lights in the cooler but I grabbed a Mike's harder lemonade which is harder strawberry I've had a harder lemonade before I don't think I've ever had strawberry this is an 8% so I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit sweet but uh, yeah yeah, I don't know about that nonsense. It's way too sweet for me. I don't think I'll be able to drink this, y'all. If it wasn't so strong or so sweet, I'd just shotgun it for you, but I'm not doing that with this. Sometimes the sometimes the things you try just do not uh, do not work out for you. Not a fan of that one at all. You guys all know about them Coors Lights. Uh, they stopped putting words on them, at least, I guess, for these, but cheers, everybody. Well, the clouds covered up our sunlight back there, for the most part. Our 
level. Devil, yeah, a little bit. I'm on my level. I don't know if you're on yours. There we go. Now you're on your level. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, you can see it right there. A big nest in the tree. There's another one over here. I don't know what those are. That's a pretty large nest. It'd be nice if the green stuff was still around, but uh, I'm ready for the white stuff. We're talking, we're talking leaves and snow, folks. Get your minds out the gutter. Well, I think I'm just going to finish this beer up and probably crawl into the truck. Got you straightened out, didn't we, boy? All right, y'all. Well, I've been chilling in here, and I watched the sunset out the windows, and I've been hanging out. And uh, currently watching Forrest Gump. <laughs> I'm just to the point where his mom is about to die. This movie always gets me. Um, but the only thing I have here is other than what's in my tote there, I, I picked up a sandwich. This is a roast beef and cheddar wedge. So a roast beef sandwich, roast beef, cheddar, and some, uh, tainted looking lettuce. I've got, gosh, what do I even have down here? I don't really want to cook anything y'all. Not really in the mood to do much cooking. I do have, oh, I don't want to drop those, don't want to lose those. Those are my, I closed a couple curtains over here. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff in here. I'm, I'm just spilling crap. So this is what I thought about making. I don't know, I might. Got some rice a down there. Got Spam. Sardines. Got mac and cheese, but I don't have any milk or anything to do that with. Got more ramen. I just had ramen. I think. I think sardines might be the juice tonight. We got. Oh okay, yeah. I think sardines is where it's at. Sardines in a sandwich. Or should we put sardines on a sandwich? Get really weird with it. I do have some hot sauce that was sent in. Uh, so maybe we'll put some sardines on a sandwich and put some hot sauce on it and see what that's all about. Just to give her a whirl here. Um, yeah, let's just give that a shot before I get back into this movie. All right, got a Coors Light here. What was that? That'd be the tablet where I'm tripping. You guys heard that too, right? All right, this is gonna be really weird. I need a, probably gonna need a spork. does not stay on this way. <sighs> I got my boots on because my feeties were a little bit cold, but all right. So we've got this Elijah's Extreme Hot Sauce and 
This was uh, sent into the P.O. box. I don't know why I'm putting this on here, but extreme regret. Screaming Hot Scorpion Carolina Reaper Hot Sauce. <laughs> this is dumb. All right. Let's pop this sandwich open. Give you guys a shot of this. Let me get a paper towel here so we can have a something that somewhat resembles a plate here. Nice gas station sandwich here. I mean, it looks like there's a decent amount of stuff on there. That's not a terrible looking sandwich. We're gonna go on the cheese side. And on top of this sandwich, we are gonna add some Beach Cliff sardines that are already in Louisiana hot sauce. So these are already spicy. And then we'll, we'll dribble some of this hot sauce on there. I don't know about putting sardines on a sandwich. Oh, I broke my thing. I don't know if this is going to do it. Come on. You got a multi tool over yonder. Somewhere down here in my backpack. got a multi-tool and a little knife a little thick blade if it'll come out <laughs> CRKT minimalist spear point and inside of this we've got a uh, suspension NXT yeah we should be able to get it open one way or another haven't used this much it's kind of bogus, yo. Is there like a can opener on here somewhere? Maybe this will work. Oh, there's like a Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can just pull this back now. There we go. Try not to splatter that everywhere. All right. So we've got some full-on sardines here. just a big old some big old hunks of fish so you got like fish sides there's bones and everything in there sardines on our sandwich this is ridiculous <laughs> and then oh this is gonna be terrible uh, Made with the world's hottest peppers, Trinidad Scorpion and Carolina Reaper. It's full of flavor and regretfully hot. I don't know what I'm doing this right now, but we'll put a couple of dabs on there. And we'll see how this turns out. I only did the sardines on half of the sandwich. I don't know if I want to do the whole thing with sardines on it. Spicy sardines. They did it on the bigger half though. Oh, there's not even like a, oh, that's really strong. Let's, uh, I'm gonna smear it on this top piece a little bit. See if we can do that and uh, not just have one big dab somewhere. Although, should I just dab it on a bite? <laughs> Ooh. 
feel like I should just dab it on a bite. I don't want to ruin my sandwich. <laughs> if this is so super hot and I can't handle it. All right. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right. Here it comes. Oh, all right. We got one solid drop on there. I don't want to, I don't want to have it too spicy. Not bad. Got to wait for it to kick though. You can definitely taste the sardines on there, which I like sardines. Uh, it's definitely a weird combination with the cheese and the lettuce. Never had cheese and lettuce with sardines. You don't really taste the roast beef in there, but I think we can go for another dab of the hot sauce. It's it's dang spicy. Uh, can't use too much, but we'll, we'll put another dab on there. I'm going to get reckless and drop too much. Ooh. Spicy sardine sandwich. So we got sardines and we got roast beef. So we got a surf and turf. Spicy surf and turf sandwich. Would that be too much of a clickbait title? Whew. That was a lot of this. This is really... That's really spicy. Like a, it's really like a dark pepper flavor. Oh, yeah, it just takes darker. I'm definitely get some of the sardines in there, but mm. I think we're gonna keep the rest of this apart. And just eat it normal. I mean, as normal as canned fish are. How tasty does that look to you guys? Be better with crackers, but I don't have any crackers or anything in there like that. Yeah, kind of need to refill some of my basics in there. Would have been nice if I had a mountain house meal. Had I had a mountain house meal, I probably would have just made that tonight, but I don't have any in there right now. Make sure I don't have guts all over my fingers. So it's 40, it's like 45, 46 in here. Oh, I'm touching it. That's why it's going up. 44, 45 probably without me touching the thing. So I was taking a look at uh, maps while I was sitting here also. And I found... I found a couple different historical markers that we could check out. We'll be going through a different couple of different kind of interesting places. So we'll see what looks most interesting, but we'll definitely find something to check out tomorrow. There we go. That was a little off the wall, but tasty nonetheless. I would probably say don't put sardines on your sandwich, but it wasn't bad. And this hot sauce, I gotta try it on something else, obviously. But that is, that's definitely really hot. Uh, my tongue is, is kind of burning right now. Like, we need to put that in some chili or something like that. Not on a roast beef sandwich. But it is what I had here. So, we gave it a whirl. We will use more of that in the future. In its fancy box and... Sardine's got the goo in there. Dang little tab broke off. It's pretty bogus. Try to get this on there and seal her up. Shucks. Stay in there. If that doesn't hold the goo, I'm gonna sue. It's cold in here, y'all. Like, I don't know. Just feels cold in here tonight. My feet are cold. I don't have thick socks on. I was not. I don't have the clothes for this. I don't really want to put my jeans on over these. I don't have any other socks. So, my feet are cold. I have not, like, done my winter... 
my winter gear gear swap I threw on final sheets but I didn't put my heavy sleeping bag in here um, I had my propane heater in here for like a couple of days and I pulled it out one day for whatever reason it's not in here now and I could really use that that would warm up my tootsies pretty nicely but uh, I'm gonna hang out for a little while I'm gonna finish watching Forrest Gump and uh, probably get headed to bed like I said we've got some spots we'll find something cool in the morning to check out anyways y'all stay tuned good morning y'all Seven forty-four a.m. Uh, somebody's out here hunting. I've heard like six gunshots. Uh, so that's I'm assuming that's what woke me up. Oh. oh. I kind of assume the temperature came up last night because it's almost fifty degrees in here. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's already 45 degrees outside, which is surprising because yesterday, this says last night we had a low of 29, which I don't know if it actually got that cold here, but did you hear that gunshot? Yeah, it's windy out there. There's been a few sprinkles in and out here and there, a little bit of rain, but hasn't been hasn't been bad at all we made it through the night the cold dark night just a little bit extra light tell you what i reckon i reckon it's time for some hot coffee in a warm cup the easiest way to measure out the correct amount of water so we don't have any waste. Right? Comprende? Mi amigo? go in on the folders this morning don't have my uh, French rest mug with me today
I think the coffee's ready. Got everything else cleaned up. I need to put my pantalones back on. Ooh, holy crap. I don't know if you guys could see any of those leaves out there. Yeah, it's windy today. And I'll kind of be driving into it on the way out of here. So that's, that sucks. A big headwind or a strong sidewind in this truck is not an enjoyable experience when you're driving around. It's a little top heavy and it's basically a big brick. Yeah, this says it's 54 degrees in here right now. Not too shabby. All right, I'm gonna get changed and uh, we'll head on down the road. soaking wet because it started pouring. I'm sitting under the gas station awning and uh, I picked up a Duncan also. You guys can see that. Um, I finished my coffee already. I've been on the road for a little while. Uh, shortly after I left that spot I came across another one um, and so I checked that out. It'll be pretty cool. It's, it's actually got campsites at the at the location like legitimate campsites but there's no electricity or anything so that'll be a future thing um, but I'm gonna see I know there's a couple of historical markers along this road that I've never stopped at and I'll also be going through a Native American reservation so we'll see what we can, can find I guess see what we end up with but Yeah, poured for like two seconds out there. There's a lot of truck traffic on this road. So I'm currently in the town of Winnebago, uh, which is a Native American town on a reser it's on a reservation here. And they've got like a statues and stuff of chiefs, I believe, set up out here. Elk clan. 
Elk Clan is one of the eight clans. Its friendship clan is the Deer Clan. The Elk Clan members were considered fierce warriors as represented by the spear. All of these are going to have a little bit of information on them. And there's, go all the way around. We've got native flags here. He's from the Fish Clan. The Fish Clan is one of eight Earth Clans. In ancient times, the Fish Clan may have held a special significance uh, given its first compound hoe is reflected in the tribe's name, Hokak, I think. Yeah. This is really nice, and they've got lights in the ground, so these are all lit up. The Hawk Clan, it's the Warrior Clan. Snake Clan. Buffalo Clan. The land and the buffalo are interrelated and the land is associated with the four directions. Eagle Clan. The Eagle Clan is one of four Sky Clans. The warriors from this clan were known as the Special Forces of the Ho-Chunk Army. The arm and the ankle band shown would be worn by members of any clan to signify deeds a warrior accomplished in battle. Water Spirit Clan. Bear Clan. And the Thunder Clan. Thunder Clan is one of the four Sky Clans. Different clans held leadership roles depending on the situation. Peacetime decisions were made by the Thunder Chief. War related actions may have been decided by a warrior clan leader. A sacred pipe, such as the one Jones, represents the Thunder Clan's functions as the guardians of peace. Uh, and he's missing his pipe right now. And you've got this cool statue here. It looks looks to be metal. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I believe this is like the center and I think it's kind of center of town maybe here. Let's head back into the truck. All right, y'all, back in the rig. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here because my camera's about to die on me. Uh, for being a completely, dang it. Settle down, Tom. For being um, like a completely unplanned trip, I managed to find a good spot to camp. The food wasn't amazing, but we ate something different. And uh, this kind of stuff is cool. Just this random history. I, there was a, I didn't know this was here. There was a sign on the side of the road, the highway, that said Statue Garden, this direction. So it's the first time I've ever turned in here, and I've driven that road quite a few times. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I guess stay tuned for the next adventure, y'all. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.